hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game, etc., etc. And don't let that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG and all of that. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. K Shine. Salute to K Shine and everything that he's got going on. Personally and professionally, I see the chatter. I blogged on it once before, and I'm going to re, 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 re spin the block as word comes out from different entities and sources. You know what I'm saying? There are battle rappers who are backing K Shine and are standing with K Shine. You have Hollow the Dawn, you got Disaster, and there's others who are standing with K-Shine in his contract dispute situation with URL. K-Shine said a couple days ago on Twitter, I'm going to tell y'all they mad. I'm going to tell y'all why they mad. You want to know what happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell y'all why they mad. They thought it was the big payday. Now they got to make up 30 battles to cover that K-Shine deposit. I feel for you. You know, Shine is getting into his troll bag now because you are... See, the thing is, every action comes with a reaction, relapse, and reaction. They, they, it goes back and forth. URL, Beasley makes his statement when he was on, uh, I believe, 15 Minutes of Fame or Hip Hop. He's, he was on both. The niggas on... You know what I'm saying? They pop up everywhere, nigga. They was, he was on either one. He was on both. And he was basically saying how he was disappointed in K-Shine, that they could work things out. And, you know the public spectrum. But I was going to say... In one of my last joints, he did. Because it was a little flustery. I never. He's normally good with the vocab and the, the the situations of binding contracts and different entities and proportions and companies and object. He's usually easily to just dance through all of this shit. But he seemed a little flustered when he got word that Sean was like online bombing on him. And I know Sean like he throw haymakers. Y'all suck my dick. I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna do whatever I want. The next thing is gonna stop me. I'm battling wherever I want. But the thing is, uh. The reason why this is not benefiting Shine in any way is because simply he may feel how he feels about the situation and he does have a point and I'm going to tell you some of his points and the league is going to have their situation and the thing is I said it before I'm going to say it again he's kind of unbookable because if a league puts 20, 30,000 behind them to try to put him on a card if that situation is not met the situation that happened, like him in the battles that URL's a legend he owes and shit like that, if that situation's not rectified, they're just gonna put a cease and desist or try to take him to court or whatever the case may be. So it's gonna be hard for niggas who even have the money to really pursue. Y'all niggas see what they just happened with this easy shit. You know what I'm saying? He don't even, him and Hitman don't got no business with URL, none whatsoever. They don't fuck with him, he don't fuck with them really. I'm gonna be honest with you. But they seen a nigga who battles for their league about to battle him and try to throw the monkey wrench in there and make that shit not happen. So what you think they're going to do when it comes to you? When they try to block a nigga who they don't even... Uh, they try to block a nigga who they don't fuck with from battling one of their artists. What do you think is going to happen when you try to battle somebody and they feel like you're older than Bray? All right, so let's put that to the side. I've seen people say his contract was for specific battles, specific situations. He was ready. If he was ready then why does he owe them anything? You know what I'm saying? And that, that could be viewed. Like, yeah, he showed up for Jack Boy. He had three rounds ready, and Jack had his situation with his health, and he wasn't able to battle. Daylight says he was supposed to battle against, I mean, Shine says he was supposed to battle against Daylight. The battle never happened. I don't believe in Daylight battles anymore. I fuck with Daylight. I rock with what Daylight does, but I do not believe anything other than a league, a literal league, actually URL, Announcing that he's gonna battle if I hear it from any other way. I'm not believing it I haven't in a while because he said that uh, he was supposed to battle loaded Lux on Christmas Day They was gonna do the shit in Detroit. It was only inviting certain niggas You know what I'm saying? They was only inviting certain they wasn't inviting everybody and it sounded good The way they sell this shit to you sounds immaculate but Doesn't happen the shit don't be panning out. So that's the reason why I just be leaving it alone. I'm like bro. I ain't I'm not about to be going back and forth with all this shit when these battles do not be happening. Like, you think they're going to happen, and they don't fucking happen. Like, all the time. And it's not the first time that it's happened. Now, with Sean, uh, I would love to see k Sean battle again. I'm not going to hold you. Obviously, I would like to see k Sean's an electric performer. He's dominant. He battles a lot of the top names. And he doesn't really lose very often. You know what I'm saying? Um, the last couple times I seen him on URL, I seen him versus Real Sick. That was a phenomenal performance. I seen him versus Easy the Black Captain. And 
you know, and when I think about some ones prior to that performances that I liked, him versus E Hard, him versus Chess, and these all happened within like the last couple of years. Um, he had the performance versus Chilla Jones, where Chilla Jones really got off on him, but still, he's still a top level MC, a top level name, a top, top, top tier guy. Like, Shine is not mid tier, or Shine is not like volunteer, or Shine is not bottom tier. Like, he's literally one of the biggest names in battle rap. And I know he would like to move on with his career, you know what I'm saying? He can get on another league, maybe RBE. You see, RBE got this card now. They got a fucking um, Hollow Don versus Ill Will, Big K versus A Ward, and now uh, Jag versus Rosenberg Raw. You think, nigga, that is a, that's a forming out to be a good card. If artists see that these type of cards are being put together and they can jump on there and get a name and continue to get it shaken, yes, they want that. Remy Ma is putting together a situation. She got Easy versus Hitman. That's just enough right there. I want to be on that card because I'm going to get a good name and I'm going to get a good bag. But the niggas over there is like, hold on, wait a minute, player. You owe us. Hold on. You owe us. Don't show us till you owe us. And that is the irremovable part in this whole situation when you got an entity that feels like you owe us. So we're not letting you go. And they don't do this shit in the high. Trust me. They do not do this in the high. It's not when I say high, I mean they don't do it publicly and loud online for everybody to know that a lawyer's been sent or a cease and desist or they trying to stop you or blood. They don't do it. It ain't hot. But trust and believe. Behind the scenes, it is happening. Um, like I said, Beasley said, you know, you pay us or whatever the case may be and you can be out of the situation, but I don't, just don't see that happening because he's gonna look at it from his perspective, like the battles didn't happen, I'm not paying you nothing. And the thing is once the money is not there anymore and the bread is gone, it's nothing to do. So that, I, I've said this. This is the reason why I said support Shine. I support Shine because what motivation do you have? If I owe two battles, let's just say he owes two battles. What motivation does he have to write for any battle for URL when this is the situation right now? He's not going to be prepared. He's not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would he do it? And him and Jack didn't happen for, for obviously Jack's health. And then Jack took up for URL, basically, you know what I'm saying? But he ain't really, he took up for himself. But, you know, he, he took up for himself and his health. And I totally, 2,000% respect that because if you don't take up for yourself and your health, nobody else will. But I just see the situation with URL and Shine. Like, unless, some, unless they could really, really, really come together and put together a situation where you know, it's beneficial for both parties. And then I heard um, Shine don't even live in New York no more. He live in Atlanta, allegedly. And if he lives down there, now I gotta get on a plane, I gotta travel. You know, you all don't really be having events in Atlanta like that and shit, so why should he do it? I'm about the artist anyway. So I'm like free Shine, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Let the man go get his money and do his thing. I'm about, I'm always, I'm gonna call it down the middle as far as like when the league says something, when the artist says something. But if you ask me what I am about, I am about the artist, I am not about. And the reason why I say I'm behind the artist is because at the end of the day, I know a lot of the shit that goes on behind the scenes. I hear about it. I hear about the practices. I hear about the the, the, the contracts and all of the shit that the artist gets into, and I really don't feel it. I personally was one that said I didn't feel like Kayshawn should be on a contract any damn way because he'd been battling since niggas had the time in the, on the right hand, on the bottom of the screen. And niggas just like didn't even have venues, and niggas was battling outside and shit. So I'm like, if a nigga been around that long, there's really no reason why I didn't think that he should be on a contract, especially one that's going to bind him and stop him from battling in other places. Like, what? Goods is not going on no shit like that. Hitman is not going on no shit like that. Charlie Clips ain't going on no shit like that. A lot of these MCs is not going. Calico ain't going on no shit like that. Where you can't battle here, you can't. No, 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 no. no. I, just, I just didn't think that his shit should be set up like that. Now, however, if that's the case, then so be it. But this, nah, you can't tell a nigga that I can't. What? What? It's neither here nor there. Shine says, I'm going to tell y'all why they big mad. They thought it was the big payday. Now they got to make up 30 battles to cover up that K-Shine deposit. They probably do have to do like 30 battles because, you know what I'm saying, a lot of situations that be going on now, these battles don't really be good. Shits be dropping straight to the app and nobody recaps them at all. And that's just how I know if a battle's hot or not. When it drops, if there's recaps, if people are excited, if there's bar breakdowns, if there's a bunch of quotes and shit online, a lot of these battles that are coming out, it's just run of the mill. I'm serious. I don't even see a lot of them. I don't see a lot of these battles. Like Lightworks and all that stuff, I don't even see them. Even when I did have the app, I deleted the subscription now, but when I did have it, they were dropping, I wouldn't even watch them. They were not, they didn't draw enough public interest is what I'm saying. You don't hear anybody really clamoring over a lot of these battles that are happening. 
uh, outside of the shit that happens on caffeine. Like if it happens on caffeine, there's a lot of bigger events, a lot of shit that goes on there. But for the most part, it's been light. And I'm gonna tell you why Battle Rap's been light. Battle Rap has been light because Sue Server is not here. Just be honest, with you. Battle Rap is getting light. This is the reason why there's not a lot of shit going on. Nobody's really talking about nothing. Uh, it's, they do spaces and talk about each other and diss artists and diss each other every day, but that's not really, when, when was that shit the most popping? When Surf was here? When was the, the battle rap and the league and a lot of events was popping? When Surf was here? You can say what you want, take whatever you want, or give them what you make, but there's definitely a different, a big difference in the climate of the whole culture in general without one of the biggest stars here, you know what I'm saying? There's other people here, but the biggest name is not here. So this is what we're stuck with. But uh, shoot, salute to K-Shine. I see him on the campaign, you know, the free K-Shine campaign, trying to get out of uh, the URL situation. I don't know specifically how many battles he knows. I don't know how much money it is specifically, because I really don't care, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not really that much of a big deal for me to be like, diving deep, deep into it. I just look at things from a surface level, and when people hit me up and ask questions about it, I'll get on and blog down. Uh, I'll drop a couple more blogs, you know what I'm saying, during the week and shit like that. I've been uh, restructuring my days and shit because I get off late and then I still want to work out and then I still got the kids and shit. So I be trying to like, you know, intertwine time management is everything. But, uh, you know, sometimes I just be like, fuck, it, ain't shit going on in battle rap any goddamn way. So I don't even cut my motherfucking camera on, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it, it definitely is therapeutic to not be sitting here for hours and hours and hours every day. I don't know, I'm good. But, uh, Salute to K-Shine, I hope you get free, um, and I hope to see you on some stages again soon. There's some pretty good cards being put up by some pretty good leagues, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas is putting up cards, and cards are looking pretty nice, um, uh, and we'll see where it goes from there. But, uh, yeah, 30 battles to make up for that shine deposit. Woo, you must have got paid a lot of money, but guess what? Um, Ultimate Rap League wants their money back. And um, I know, I don't know how yours was set up, but I know other artists, mm -hmm from their contracts and situations, they have things in place to substantiate if a battle doesn't happen, replacing it and shit like that. I just don't think URL is going out like that. Like, oh, if the battle ain't happened on March 8th, I get the whole 30,000, that's your fault, not mine. I just can't see that shit happening. But, yep, that's the latest.